we're going to convert the the old T12 uh, fluorescent tube to a new LED light. But you can see on these lights, these tubes, I mean you can see that one, that one's gone. And it came to a point where I wasn't buying the tubes anymore because they're too hard to get rid of. What I was doing, I was just putting in individual lighting fixtures and screwing in a CFL or if you want to go in a LED, I can just screw them in and unscrew them. So I wasn't buying bulbs anymore. But I still have a lot of these old fixtures and they're still good. It's just that I wasn't buying them because they're too hard to get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that over. So here is the new bulb, and I've got I've unpackaged it from its container. And the only thing we need to do is take the old bulb on and put the new one in. And it's that simple to change them up. And there is a reflector on here, and you want that at the top. And these lights come on with the fluorescent ones. If they're damp, they won't come on. If it's cold, they don't come on. But these, it's a lot nicer. I haven't done in a minute here. The only problem with doing that is I get rid of them bulbs. But I guess one last time, it's just so bad. Okay. Alright, they're in. So that is pretty darn good. And they are bright. Let me give you a okay, look at it. You see I don't have that one quite right, but spin that one a little bit but they're bright and they work pretty good so I can still use all my old fixtures and put new bulbs in it now when you buy these bulbs um, make sure that it's applicable to the, the fixture you have so if you have my T8 that'll have that smaller bulb and it'll have my uh, a magnetic ballast. Now in these older bulbs, this one just says that you replace your old bulbs and this goes into the old T12. The T12 is a little bit bigger. So here is an old uh, magnetic ballast. And that one line up with the, the bigger bulb. And then if it has an electronic ballast, it would line up with a smaller T8. So just make sure whatever you have, you can get a replacement tube that fits that application. Be real careful with that. 